Hi, I am Vishal Rain. In this video tutorial, we will be looking uh, about this motion path tool. This tool helps us to animate an object along the curve. So before uh, exploring this tool, uh, it is very important to know about certain thing called curve parameterization. Uh, uh, what is curve parameterization is it is uh, kind of uh, measuring a point location along the curve uh, let's say uh, if I generally locate a curve point and tell this, cur this curve point is located on the curve but general question is where is that point located on the curve then I would say this point is located at 0 0.9th point so generally there is certain numbering system on the curve which tells me that this point is located uh, at 1.7th point generally an, on a curve there is a start point and there is an end point so if I generally click here you could see this point is at 0th point and if I keep on going the number keeps on increasing so it is 0 to 8 if you see uh, in the attribute editor uh, in the shape node of the curve there is something called minimum maximum value which tells about the range of the value on the curve so it starts from 0 and ends at 8 so uh, this helps me in um, locating this object on the curve at a given time let's say if I want to animate this object along the curve and I say at the first frame it should be on the curve at 0th point and uh, when it reaches a certain time it generally takes a round and comes back and it reaches 8th point so it's like rotating around along the curve and you can control it so it will be much clear when I would when I uh, do this exercise so what I've got is a model here called Jack uh, it's it's uh, only uh, helps us to identify uh, the axis and I've got a simple very low poly block model car so I would like to uh, tell you before you start this motion path try to make this model any model you are using for the motion path try to make that model face to the world x axis if this is the car's uh, headlights and driver seat and he is driving this way he should drive in x axis so model the car this way very similar to like front axis uh, sorry it's not friend sorry but generally it is facing x-axis which is very important so don't make it friend but it's facing right side of the uh, viewport here and I want to make this car to be the child of this jack model so whenever I move the jack the car will follow it so let me select the jack and the curve and go to animation menu in animate you got motion patch attached to motion path here uh, firstly there is a time range in which you have got time slider start start and end what is time slider is if I generally apply the animation let, let me apply this and show you uh, time slider option and everything is default right now and I'll just attach it so what you see is the the car from here has gone to a particular point which is I said starting point and on the first frame it is here and when I generally move my time slider it reaches there as I told you the car should face x axis when you do that the car will travel along the curve you could see the car is along the curve head the headlights are towards the curve so that is very important and uh, as you could see the animation is happening from one frame 
to 24th frame because the range of my time slider is that way now if I generally go to attach motion patch again and choose start on the first frame when you call start frame 1 and the first frame it gives a set key and it does not animate that object it gives a chance you to animate that which we will see later uh, what is start and end frame is you can set at what frame this object should start here and how much time it should take uh, to reach the same point here or the end point of the curve so if I generally say 50 frames here and then uh, attach now in the first frame it is here and when I just move my time slider I need 50 frames and the car reaches till there in 50 frames so you you are saying how much time uh, the car should take along the, the curve from start point to end point to travel so uh, and if you generally get into the options further you have uh, a front axis you have got parametric length you got follow so what all these options we'll see that in attribute editor which is same so what is parametric length now before getting into that we'll see this option called u value u value is the point location uh, on the curve as I said so this is a, a let's say in script editor this is 0 0.6 this is 2.8 so the curve starts here from 0 and ends here at 8 how do I know the start and end numbers if I go to the curve shape node it is a start value and it is an end value but Maya considers this as a 0 as a starting point and 1 as the ending point if you could see 0 makes the car to stay there 0 0.5 makes the car stay here if I set 1 it reaches there so uh, the first frame the value is 0 as I go further the value increases so what happened here is this option is animated on the first frame the value is 0 on the 50th frame the value is 1 you could see the motion path uh, key uh, list here animation curve attributes as you could see on the first frame the u value is 0 on the 50th frame uh, value is 1 so uh, uh, if, if you have the uh, u value range of the curve 0 to 8 or whatever may be it generally considers as 0 to 1 only start as 0 and end as 1 but if you want this to be as 0 and 8 then choose parametric length so what it does is start frame it considers as 0 uh, starting point it considers as 0 end point it is not 1 it is 8 which is the end point u value of the curve so it is optional uh, to you uh, it is like you are uh, setting a range of 0 to 8 or 12 as 0 to 1 uh, there is no much difference in that whether it is that way or this way it is your choice uh, follow option generally uh, as you could see there are so many options here everything is locked once I switched off generally you are just making the object to travel along uh, the curve when it was facing and you are not making this curve to uh, orient along the curve as you could see uh, everything is logged out uh, so I will make it on now there are certain options here which we will talk about uh, generally this is a uh, scene up uh, in scene up uh, what you are trying to do is uh, you are making the uh, object y-axis to face up in the viewport uh, generally y uh, specifically y y not uh, z axis facing up uh, if you just get into this motion path options there is something called front axis and up axis 
so front axis is x and up axis is y which even you could see here so always the front side of the car uh, would be x axis x axis will be the front it, it always see the front in the journey and up axis is uh, y but if I generally change it to z the car would see up I mean sorry the z axis would see up upside so this is uh, kind of uh, the way you can control how the car should be along the journey as I said if somebody has uh, modeled the car uh, according to the viewports that is in front view front and inside view side in that case you could generally ch choose the front axis as uh, a z axis uh, and then change the y as y up axis as y and uh, you need not model the car uh, facing as into the x axis so um, even once you have created this you have this uh, front twist option which actually uh, twist the car model or any model you have taken in the front side I mean you are rotating in X axis up twist is you are twisting in Y axis of the car you could see and side twist is rotating the car in Z axis and it generally stays same along the curve and uh, generally if you see these are animatable options so in some cases you want any specific control along it and it generally works perfectly there and you have these two options here inverse up uh, the up axis which I told Y uh, facing up up axis Y when I say inverse it the Y will face down uh, inverse front as front axis is X axis when I say inverse front X will see back side uh, and uh, we have uh, certain other options object up rotation up vector and normal which we will see in the next video with a, a good example um, until that you could generally uh, explore this tool uh, with the default right now um, it's not default with the scene up options when we go with other options things would be much more clear and controlled uh, hope you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you very much